There are some U.S. schools, though, concerned about their ability to continue to dominate the global marketplace, meaning what? So there's a bunch of things that are happening at the same time, and it's a little hazy enough in the future, but it's something that people are beginning to talk about, and it's that, uh, first of all, U.S. schools, public universities have flatlined on the amount of money that we're investing in them, for, and that's been going on for a long time, and that's the reason that tuition has, has gone uh, up so fast at the public schools. So, you know, the taxpayers just aren't putting what they were, uh, that they used to put into it, into the university. So uh, the, the product and the infrastructure in some cases is beginning to diminish. At the same time, in China in particular, they're pumping a lot of money into their higher education system. Um, they've had now a generation, a generation and a half of Chinese graduate students who have returned to China and are teaching at these universities that they're trying to build up, mm. uh, which means that the quality is beginning to increase and in their, their rankings in uh, global rankings are up as well. They also have a vested interest in bringing more international students into China to study. It's a really uh, strong form of soft power. If, if you ed- educate people in your country, you can do